All right, violas. Um, this next video that you guys are going to watch is your chamber orchestra audition music for next year. Mr. Hansen is going to listen to you play these four lines of this excerpt, okay? And he's going to judge whether you guys are going to be in concert orchestra or chamber orchestra at Northside next year. Now, I want you guys to look at this music very carefully, okay? Look at the key signature, look at the time signature, and look at everything in between, okay? You have four flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat, okay? Which means you're not gonna use open D, you're not gonna use open A, and your first fingers are all going to be low, okay? Your second fingers are all going to be low. I'm just gonna give you a little piece of advice. When I, when I did this etude for all state, or all region and all state in high school, I made sure that my left hand was always, instead of, instead of our normal left hand position here, my left hand was always shifted back into something called half position, okay? So instead of my first finger being on A, E, B, and all that stuff, <coughs> my first finger was regularly on A flat, E flat, and B flat. That way, I could maintain my same hand shape that I'm used to. It would just be in tune, okay? So I'm gonna take this very, very slow. Do not try and practice this super duper fast. We're not looking for speed right now. We're looking for note accuracy and bowings. When you look at this, you can see that this is all going to be down, uh, up, down, uh, up, down, uh, up, down, uh, up. You can also see that every down bow has an accent. So what I want you guys to know is that it needs to be a very fast burst of speed and weight. That way you have enough bow to play the uh up and get back to the same spot that you were at. Here's a demonstration from the first couple measures. You're going to start here and you're gonna use a lot of bow. Make sure you're getting back to your starting point in the bow and make sure that you're using the same amount of bow on that down that you are on both ups. Down, uh, up, down, uh, up, down, uh, up. Okay? Now, I'm done talking about it. I'm going to play the first two lines first and then I'm going to play the second two lines. Okay? That's all you need for your, your uh, audition with Mr. Hansen is the first four lines, the lines that are marked. Okay, so here we go. First two lines. Oh, shoot. I'm reading in trouble, Clef. The last note, the last measure of that second line. Okay, that's E flat, F, G, A flat. Sorry, I was, I was reading in trouble clef for some reason. Okay, now, if you need time to practice that, pause this video. One thing that I would suggest, just to get these notes in your left hand, is to forget about the bowing, forget about the right hand. And I want you to do every note separate. <laughs> That's a very good way to practice it. Now, I'm gonna do the next two lines, once with the actual bowing and once without the bowing. So here we go. Starting on the third line. Ready, and. <laughs> I 
literally just stopped on the first note of the fifth line, okay? So, just a reminder, make sure, make sure, make sure you're not using open D or open A. It's a low fourth finger between your third and fourth tapes for every D and every A because it's a D flat and an A flat, okay? So, I'm gonna play the third and fourth lines one more time, separate bows this time. Okay, now keep in mind, keep in mind, keep in mind, low fourth fingers. When you're doing this with separate bows, try and use the same amount of bow on every note and make sure your tempo is steady. The worst mistake you can make is to start at this tempo and then end at this tempo. Okay? All right. So, happy practicing. Good luck.